In the energy quadrant, we had an inside range day in the February crude oil contract, and that likely indicates sideways movement more so than a reversal, at least technically speaking. An inside range day is when the high and the low are either higher in terms of the, the low side or lower in terms of the high side than the previous today. And today's high and low are inside yesterday's high and low. The high today is 72.93, that was up 3%. We were up 3% at one point, WTI crude. The low 7047, that was down a little bit more than four tenths of 1%. We finished the day just short of 2% better. Now it was a positive close, but since there is no real trend to be reversed, you wouldn't necessarily look at this inside range day as a reversal day, which is what we tend, tend to look for with inside and outside range days, more like a continuation of the sideways movement that we've seen since the breakdown below $75 in WTI at the beginning of December. Now, positioning is back in the headlines. More reports surfacing of industrial short positions rising, this time from Citigroup, who really talked about the obvious, I'm sorry, the opposite. They stated that the impact of the value of funds exiting WTI longs is the equivalent of about 2,700 contracts. So while they didn't report on new shorts, they reported on more exiting of longs, which some people might take as a sign that there's new shorts. I'm not saying that neither was City, but the positioning is definitely in the conversation about crude oil prices. Also manufacturing data, which we will get more next week. Some signs of strength, despite most still being in contraction, latest PMI figures show countries like the UK, the EU, the US and Australia beating expectations on their manufacturing PMIs regardless of the source of that data but remaining slightly in contraction territory. So maybe some green shoots in manufacturing, which actually could help the demand picture of crude oil a little bit, but certainly not in expansion territory, not as of yet.